Hey, thanks a lot, guys. Let's hear from Mike Gordon on the drums. All right. And once again, thank you guys so much for coming uh, to Monks tonight. It's a really, it's a fun place to uh, play. It's also a fun place to attend a show. And uh, thank you for your choice. And we know there's a lot going on um, in Austin all the time. There's actually a lot going on this weekend. Of course, you've got um, ACL Festival across town. And uh, yeah, thanks for being here. You could have paid five times as much to go to ACL and watch a DJ. <laughs> so I think you made a good choice. Anyway, we're going to continue on uh, with another classic jazz tune um, that is kind of from the Great American Songbook. This is a uh, Jerome Kern and Hammerstein tune called The Song Is You, and uh, I made a, a bit of an arrangement on this one, so we hope you like this one. Thank you. 
Check one, two. Check one, two. Is this thing on? Is this thing on? 
<laughs> okay. Check one, two. Ah, thank you. All right. Well, um, yes, that was the song as you. Very up-tempo. Now that we're all thoroughly discombobulated, uh, maybe we'll slow it down a little bit. So we're going to play um, a, an original tune that I wrote. And uh, many years ago, I had the good fortune, maybe the bad fortune, to work on cruise ships. And, uh, you know, it's a fun job. You get to travel the world. You get to sail the seven seas. But, of course, you can't leave. Um, so that can lead to some, some ruminations. Anyway, <laughs> so I did, I think I did write this song uh, while I was aboard the, I don't know if it was the, uh, the SS Princess Star or the Princess Crown or the Princess Royal. I don't really remember. But uh, this is a song that I wrote that kind of captures that feeling of just uh, drifting around the seven seas. And this is called Adrift. Hope you like it.
here for Terry Bonus on the uh, B3 organ. That was a great solo, man. Now, Terry, would it, be, would it be correct to call your instrument a B3 organ? It's not really a B3 organ. What, what, what should I call it, Terry? Let's call it an organ. It is an organ. Well, it's uh, whatever it is, it's a, it's a damn fine instrument, Terry. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much. And we really appreciate you guys being here. Um, and as you may be aware, this show is being live streamed on the, on the internet. I guess, Colin, is that YouTube, Facebook, a any other uh, platforms at the moment? Only those two. Okay, only those two, but those are, um, those are some mighty platforms of the metaverse. And uh, I just want to give a special shout out to all of our listeners out there in, in the metaverse. Uh, thank you for listening. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for liking. And if you're feeling extra generous, uh, you can tip the band virtually. We appreciate that. That's... Uh, Part of what enables this amazing programming that Colin Shook is bringing to you guys at Monks. Let's hear for one more time for Colin Shooks, everybody. <laughs> yes, I could go on and on um, about Colin. He's truly an MV MVP of the Austin jazz scene, um, but I'll, I'll talk a little more about that later. Okay, so we're going to continue with our next piece, and uh, one of the wonderful things about uh, this lineup of the uh, organ, not the Hammond organ quartet, uh, with the guitar and the saxophone. It's a time-tested, time-honored uh, format. It allows us to play uh, in a very wonderful way some of the more bluesy repertoire from the past. So we're going to bring uh, a cool tune to the table. This is a tune called Topsy. Is anybody out here familiar with a, a, a wonderful jazz guitar player and trombone player named Eddie Durham? Okay, we have one, one, one person, of course. 
Thank you, Weldon. Well, you go to Texas State. If you did not know who Eddie Durham was, then, yeah, shame on you, and you would flunk. Well, anyway, Eddie Durham uh, has a great place in jazz history. He was a double threat as a guitar player and a trombone player. He did a lot of work um, for the Count Basie Band, among others. And uh, it's really wonderful that there's a Texas connection. He was from San Marcos, Texas, as a matter of fact, before he moved on, I suppose, to Kansas City and uh, the wider jazz world. So this is a tune of his called Topsy, and I actually created this arrangement. Uh, I transcribed it from a, a Ray Brown quartet record. So yeah, hope you enjoy our version of Eddie Durham's Topsy.
How's everybody doing out there? Enjoying yourselves? All right. Well, um, what do you guys think? Let's do, let's do my funny laugh. Okay. Uh, is anybody here on a on a date tonight? Just like 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 a you know like a like a Tinder date or a Grinder date or just like like a regular date? <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, sorry. Anyway, for those of you that are feeling romantic, and you don't have to be on a date to feel romantic, right? Um, we're going to play a beautiful song uh, by Rogers and Hart. Uh, I just love playing this one, so I decided to ruin it by making my own arrangement. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Um, hopefully you guys will really enjoy this. Um, I know I, en I enjoy playing it. This is a beautiful song called My Funny Valentine.
Thank you very much. Hey, Colin, you back there? Yeah. Uh, how much time do we have left? Uh, probably two or three songs. Two or three songs. Okay, fantastic. All right. Well, then we're going to do um, something very special. This is a Monk's Jazz Club premiere. Um, I thought that uh, to commemorate the show, I would uh, get off my behind and write a new song. And I did it. So this is a premiere. Um, this was a lot of fun. It's kind of in the in the vein of a fast blues, I suppose. Uh, and yeah, so uh, it was untitled until until we got here. But we had a we had a conclave, we had a convention, we had a meeting, and uh, the title of the song is Nickel City.
Thank you so much for coming out. And uh, by the way, can I, can I ask by a show of hands, for those of you in the audience, for whom of you is this your first time at Monk's Jazz Club? Wow. Hey, that's wonderful. Well, it's really wonderful to see you guys here. Um, hopefully, it'll be uh, the first of many visits to this fine establishment. Um, it's certainly, and I'm not exaggerating, it's definitely my favorite place uh, to play jazz here in Austin. Um, and it's all thanks to our wonderful friend, Colin Shook. Um, Colin Shook is the proprietor of Monks. He, he does everything. He's the guy who, uh, he books the talent. He, uh, he sets the stage. He runs the sound. He's in charge of the audio-visual feed on the internet. And um, it's just been amazing watching him create this establishment from literally kind of a very DIY place to uh, what is in my opinion, and many people's opinions, it's one of the finest uh, listening rooms and AV production studios in the country. So let's hear it one more time for Colin Shook, your host. <laughs> yes, we're really, uh, really fortunate to have him here. And uh, like I said, uh, when, when you leave, do check the Monk's calendar. There's always two, three, or four um, fantastic events here. And actually, I believe this group, will, we will be back here in November, won't we, fellas? Did everybody get that email? <laughs> okay. All right, yeah, sometimes those, uh, those ships get crossed night. But we will be back here uh, later in November uh, as part of the Austin Jazz Workshop. Or, no, excuse me, not Austin Jazz Workshop. This is our jazz workshop. The Austin Jazz Society's um, Wednesday night concert series. Okay, so we're going to um, continue this or actually close this show on uh, a standard note. Uh, we're going to play a beautiful song that um, everybody... Everybody's recorded, and I know that because I looked up this song on Wikipedia last night. That's how I learn now. Um, jazz Studies is on Wikipedia. But literally, when you Google the song, you will find that literally everybody has done this song from, I mean, so many great vocalists, like, of course, Frank Sinatra, Ella Fitzgerald, um, Mel Torme, my personal favorite, Perry Como. Uh, he's in there. His version is not bad. Um, but there's lots. Um, a, a version that I like, if you're familiar with the great... Uh, jazz organ player. No, not Terry Bonus. He's pretty good. Uh, Larry Goldings has a version of this song, but in a much different style. So anyway, we're going to close it out uh, with the great jazz standard, uh, Where or When. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoy it.
Thank you very much, everybody. It's really been a, a true pleasure playing for you guys. So let's hear it one more time for this uh, phenomenal band. It's really a pleasure and a privilege to get to share the stage with these guys. Let's, let's hear it for Dr. Russell Haight on the saxophone. Uh, Mike Gordon on the drums. Uh, we have Terry Bonus on the organ. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, and my name is Jacob Wise. So thank you guys for listening. Thank you. Um, it's been a pleasure. If you want to pick up some CDs, we have them for sale um, at the bar. Uh, they're, they're 10 bucks. But anyway, thank you so much. Um, have a great weekend, and hope to see you again at Monk's sometime soon. Good night. <laughs>